we're not expecting these follow-ups anytime soon. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unlikely movie sequels. For this list, we're compiling a series of theoretical movie sequels you're not likely to see in theaters. Unless Hollywood really runs out of ideas. We've disqualified movies that already have sequels, so no Ocean's 14 or Jaws 19 here. Shark still looks fake. Number 10, Armageddon 2. He saved the world once, but can he do it again? Even I can't screw this up. Ben Affleck returns as the rowdy oil drilling astronaut AJ Frost. Now that he's back from space, the government has another job for him. The comet we discovered is the size of New York City. With new obstacles. What's wrong? A new team and a new love. I will come back. AJ fights to protect the Earth again. Unlike lightning, asteroids can strike twice. Armageddon 2. Armageddon. Number 9. Edward Scissorhands 2. Edward is different, but he's got the fastest blades in the West. When our scissor-handed friend gets run out of town, he's got to find a way to make ends meet, so he does the only thing he knows how. And I can guarantee the closest shave you will ever know. Meet London's newest salon owner. My arm is complete again. But all those years on the run mean Edward's got a score to settle. Edward Scissorhands. He's a cut above the rest. Edward Scissorhands too. Hair today, gone tomorrow. I'm not finished. Number eight, The Shawshank Redemption 2. Dear Red, how would you two like to come to my house at the beach? Morgan Freeman narrates the story of three free men, but only two have a pulse. And he's a banker accused of murdering his wife. Red's just been released on parole, and their buddy Brooks couldn't take life on the outside. I don't understand why he couldn't wait until Monday to kill himself. But that doesn't mean they can't have a good time in Ziwatanejo. From the makers of Weekend at Bernie's, it's time to get busy living, even if you're dead. What kind of a host invites you to his house for the weekend and dies on you? The Shawshank Redemption 2, Weekend in Mexico. Why do these things always happen to me? Number 7, The Birdcage 2. When the bird flies the cage about Armin's drag club, he loses his business and his lover. This is insane. That's enough to make anyone go a little crazy. So Armin packs up his belongings, dyes his hair, and takes off in search of greener pastures. You've done it before. What, lied about who I am? Never. But all he finds is a lonely existence at a big box store. That's when he finds out that running from your problems isn't a solution. These things always have a way of bubbling to the surface. I don't want to be somebody else. Ah! The Birdcage 2, Caged Emotions. Number six, The Usual Suspects 2. Now that the cat's out of the bag, the whole country is on the lookout for Kaiser Sose. Who's Kaiser Sose? But sometimes, what you're searching for is right under your nose, or in his case, next door. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. He's traded drug deals, police lineups, and murder for pumping iron, working in the drive-thru, and generally hating his suburban existence. This isn't life! He's your worst nightmare, but he's a great neighbor. The usual suspects too. The killer next door. My guess is you'll never hear from him again. Number five, Pulp Fiction 2. He's one bad mother, well, you know. Jules Winfield built a rep as the best killer in the game, but with his partner dead, he's gotta find a new calling. You really think I'm gonna quit? Most definitely. With some help from his old pal Jimmy. I mean, I wanna help you, but I, I don't wanna lose my wife doing it, all right? Jules follows his heart and stomach and finds himself the proprietor of a big kahuna burger. I hear they got some tasty burgers. He's got beef, but this time it's on a bun. Pulp Fiction 2, now with extra pulp. This is a tasty burger. Number four, Scarface 2. You're Scarface, right? Yeah. Tony may have breathed his last breath, but in the drug world, families never die. Meet the Montanas. Fidel embraces drugs and his family tree. Luis is a holy man who can't help but channel his old man. Say hello to my little friend. And Gloria is trying to make it through Harvard Law. What, like it's hard? Can they run the family business, or will they go out in a blaze of glory just like their dad? A very Scarface sequel. I'm Cuban B. Yes, Cuban B. Number three, E.T. 2. Time's up. After infiltrating an unsuspecting human family and molesting their children, 
a lone alien returns to the mothership. But once E.T. phones home, that's when the aliens decide it's their turn to fight back. It's a close encounter of the worst kind, and this time, the aliens are illegal. I'll be right here. E.T. 2. This time, it's personal. Welcome to Earth. Number 2. Fight Club 2. Once his hard-boiled alter ego Tyler Durden and half of his face are out of the way, our hero sets up on a path of self-discovery. I'm really okay. Trust me. But once a schizo, always a schizo. So he invents a new friend. These twins couldn't be more different. Why are we talking about this? One's educated and articulate, the other's a drug-addled redneck. Can't hardly tell the difference. And soon enough, he finds out that his own worst enemy is himself. Again. You are going to ruin my life! Fight Club 2, The Terrible Twos. What did you do? Number one, Titanic 2. Not to be confused with the actual Titanic 2. Rose DeWitt Bucator struggled to stay afloat after losing her dream man and her meal ticket on the same fateful night. But this strong-willed debutante didn't get mad, she got even. With the heart of the ocean giving her the power of resurrection, Rose forms a zombie army with her fallen Titanic brethren, proving hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Titanic 2, Rose's Revenge. Do you agree with our list? How can you be so obtuse? Which movie sequel do you think we're the least likely to see? For more top tens about your favorite flicks, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So say goodnight to the bad guy.